let's do some playing with that sprocket swirl on the machine. And we're gonna add this to our um, swirl design family. And we start off with that swirl that we did in mystical cotton tracks. We come up and at any time you want, you start doing those zig out, zig out, zig in, zig out. Remember to follow the contour of any curves. Zig in, zig out. Go into another swirl, anywhere you want. Go up the tail, zig in, zig out, zig out, zig in. Come around, and we're gonna echo that into the previous. Zig in, zig out, in, out. Continue on, it's just like adding grapes to a bunch. You don't have to put a lot of those sprockets in there. That tends to be my choice or just my natural flow with it. But if you only add a few, that's fine too. Zig in, zig out. Zig out, zig in. Actually add flames. Coming off, your swirls, echo that into the previous, Zig in, zig out, in, out. Continue around. Add a few feather fronds if you want, just to get a little bit of pop in there. Continue with your echo. Now what I'd like to do, I'm going to slow down the machine just a little bit and we're going to start taking it smaller and smaller and turning it into a microfill. And this is of course how we've been doing it when we're practicing our micro work. Go into your swirl and you just start getting smaller and smaller as you go. And again, slow down your machine when you're doing your first practice with your micro work to see how small you can get it. You don't have to go down to micro right away. Just get a smooth feel of it. Just keep going tinier and tinier until you get it as small as you want. Now I'm not going to go too small here because I'm pretty near hugging this camera to get this shot. So we're going to go around, get it as small as we can. and just continue on.
Thank you.